So, I, for this kind of titration problem, I do the reaction first. So, H2O plus calcium acetate. And make sure calcium is 2 plus, so I better put 2 acetates. And so when I balance this, I better put a 2 here. And I think there'll be two waters. That's going to be important for my molar ratio, and that's it. So in titrations, once you write down this information, you just start with what you know. So we'll start here, and we'll go here. I'm going to convert this to moles, molar ratio, and then divide by this number to get molarity. So you'll go 59.0 milliliters times 0 0.213 moles per liter. So that's moles of acetic acid. Then I go 2 moles of acetic acid for every 1 mole of calcium hydroxide. I'm to moles of calcium hydroxide. This is fantastic. I'm almost there. I need molarity, which is moles per volume. Well, you can calculate that number, or you could just do this. Divided by uh, 50.7 milliliters, and you got to convert this to liters, so 1,000 milliliters per liter. There you go. All right. Is that what you're looking for? Is that the only thing that they usually ask for, or is there other things that they usually ask for? I mean, that it's either uh, molarity or liters that they ask for, or is it anything else ever? Uh, they could. Over here, you can ask for molarity. You could ask for mass, mm -hmm. which is easy to go for moles. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're given Molarity, yeah, you could find volume. That could be possible, too. Um, and then what also could change is what's over here. So they could start with mass here. You still go to moles. But different, different starting things could happen, too. But uh, essentially, this is the structure of a titration problem. You do your first mess to get to moles. You got your molar ratio, and then we found what we want. Oh, fantastic. I almost forgot. Uh, we need to convert one liter for a thousand milliliters, right? Very good. That's excellent. So for this, we can use M1V1 equals m 2 v 2 uh, I would not use M1V1 equals M2V2. Okay. Uh, it, it works occasionally by luck, but it doesn't always work. When does it work then? When you're lucky. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't figured it out. I think it doesn't work well when these aren't ones. Um. Yeah, so I would, and that's not even the formula, I mean that's for dilution which is something totally different than titration. So, uh, I definitely would not use it. Yeah, even if it did work, uh, you know, your grader is going to consider that luck and then potentially mark you off for using that formula. So I just always go through this, these steps.